The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. That's enough. You know, a whole bunch of people actually got together and figured out where that song yeah, came from. I know. I jammed to it all week. So every week, <laughs> every week I get a new message on Facebook or on one of the posts. And it's like, here's where this music originated from. Yeah. But it's never where it really originated from. This, this one, one was. So many versions. But this one. Yeah. That was this. I, this was the one. Okay. It was from, uh, what's that called? Where, I can't think of it crazy now, fucking That crazy convention where they, the you know that one guy? What? I don't know. Came from. Sig Mao? I don't know. The song know. is called Friction by Sig Mao. Well, there you go. Congratulations, everybody. Anyway. Either way, it's a good song. Either way, I, mean, I love it. It jams. And ladies and gentlemen, we also have another very excellent stand-up comedian. He is the very funny comedian who has ridiculously long toenails. Please welcome back Mr. Mike Baldwin. Not anymore, I doubt. Yeah, we took care of that last week, I think. Yeah, they've been trimmed. That's nah, okay. Yeah, whatever. It They're the matter. shortest that they'll be for the next 60 days. Spectacular. It's horrible. I can't hear him walking anymore. I know. I don't know if he's coming up behind <laughs> me. Sneak up on me. Before you, I could hear him. Uh, but anyways, for what it's worth, if you can't already tell, we have, I think, one full, fully healthy person at this table. Uh, <laughs> and two. weirdly enough, it's are, Mike. It's are Mike. we including mentally? Uh, no. No, no. 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 Absolutely not. We can't do, we we can't do that. No. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to JP shows up all fucking sick. <laughs> Scotty's tired and has some sort of airplane disease. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Uh, we'll get there. Maybe we shouldn't be sitting here. But yeah, but anyways, we're back from vacation. I don't get sick. I have a positive attitude. I'm <laughs> okay. <dude. laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah, right on, bro. I'm not worried. Uh, but yeah. anyways, yes, we, we are back from well, then vacation. Trade me seats. <laughs> And if you if you can't already tell, we are supposed to have Derek Alders on uh, this week's episode, but fuck Derek. What's he doing? Unfortunately, his water heater uh, went out uh, a couple days ago, and so now he is getting a new one installed this evening. So that's why he cannot be here. I don't know why, but I just thought of you know when people there's that uh, like uh, thing that says the dishwasher's broken, and it's just the wife laying on the bed. Yeah, I thought of that when you said his water heater went out, and I just imagined the, yeah. a lady being. Well, here's my thought process. I was just like, okay, if you're getting a new, it's okay. If you're getting a new water heater, <laughs> please don't let it happen again. <laughs> my whole thing with Derek is like, hey man, if you're getting a new water heater, why do you have to be there? Right. What are you doing? Exactly. Are you dude, handing him the anything. tools? I, what he's doing is making sure that none of that memorabilia comes <laughs> no up missing. Shit, That's yeah. what he's, that motherfucker's right on him, boy. Oh, yeah. I guarantee <laughs> it. He's not like sitting upstairs chilling out. That motherfucker is watching, yep. dude. Yep, I'm that's sure exactly you. right. But anyways, uh, so yeah. But, but you know what? Luckily, we got Mike. And Mike is, you know, awesome. So yeah. that's what it is. I didn't Mike start, is funny. That Mike is funny. That thing didn't go over the way that I... Yeah. No, but you know yeah, what? It's, okay. it's not how you start. It's how you finish. The that's idea right. is there. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yes, we do have an excellent episode. Being back from vacation, uh, we have a very, very long Week, week recap. Uh, we have hot topics. Hot topics. I can't really sing. <laughs> that was that good, was, though. That was okay. Yeah, that was real good. I'll, I'll take, take it. it. Uh, we have never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas. A draft. And as always, a shitty situation. But let's go ahead and kick this week, week recap off with uh, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Oh, God. With me? The main reason is because JP's and mine kind of overlap a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So go for it. What has been going on with you, Mr. Mike? Nothing. 
Well, yeah. that, ladies and gentlemen, well, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hey, Mr. Mike Baldwin. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I did a show in uh, in Turon, Kansas, and yeah, it was good. Was yeah. that the it, one at the gas station? No, it was. Oh. It was uh, no. That's this coming weekend. Okay, at, great. At the filling station the filling in station. Grand <laughs> Island, Nebraska. I remembered that. No, it was. Uh, it was a place called Jerry's Bar and Grill, and it was like the only bar in this town of like three hundred. And they were planning an outdoor show, so they had tents and tables and lights and all sorts of... Oh, shit. I saw the video of this. And it rained its ass off, dude. (laughs) But Jerry, being the owner, was like, we hired comedians? God damn it. They're doing comedy. (laughs) So we were standing out there under a tent, but the tent did nothing. The wind was blowing so hard, like... Rain was getting. Everybody had muddy lower legs. Oh Jesus Christ! It was fun though. I had a good time. That's good. Sold some shirts and whatnot. Let's see what else. I made chili. That turned out good. Yeah, that's that's a good thing to do right now because the weather is actually starting to get a little cooler here in the Kansas area. Mm-hmm. I moved my to- Ooh, yeah. My tomato hanger is now an indoor tomato hanger. I'm sorry. What? I got you to- hang tomatoes. Yeah, I bought it's from like an as seen on TV thing where they grow upside down. Mike likes infomercials. I, it was from years ago. I, I just fill it. I put a new tomato in it every year and All right. I'm trying to beat my record. Last year I had like three tomatoes. <laughs> what the fuck? So hopefully this year I've got like four green ones right now and lots of flowers. So that's why I moved it inside because I was like, I'm not letting the cold beat me. I will never understand you, Mike. Why? I just, I, I just, some of the things that you do, I, it, I love you. Is it weird to grow tomatoes? Kind of. Why? I don't know. I mean, not, not really, but like just. And I live in an apartment. Quirky. I can't grow them outside. No I sure. can't go digging in the dirt. Yeah. So I got a fucking tomato hanger. Okay. You got a problem with it? Not at all. You all keep, right. you keep uh, hanging those tomatoes, man. I will. I'll bring one when I get, when it turns red. Okay. If it's big enough to make me feel good about myself. Perfect. But besides that, yeah, nothing. Grand Island on Friday and uh, Hastings, Nebraska at the Brick House on Saturday. Come, nice. Come see me do comedy. Also, you can check him out at MikeIsFunny.com. Go oh, and check him out there. Thanks. Yep, you bet, buddy. JP, <sighs> I got to say, man, uh, it's been a week that our, our uh, I don't know, our <clears throat> destinies were intertwined. Yeah, man. Uh, thank you for leaving the uh, the gallon of cum all over my living room floor. Appreciate that. Hey, man, here's the thing. It's the least I could do. <laughs> I don't believe And if that. you think the only place you found it was the living room floor, <laughs> then you got some more looking to do. Oh, my wife already blacklighted our bedroom. Oh, yeah. She's smart. <laughs> yeah, no shit. So I take it you didn't sleep in there when you got back? Sure didn't. Nope. It looked like a crime scene. I I, we even tried to sleep on the floor, but then we blacklighted that, too. Yeah, it's not, not good either. Not no, good either. No, I didn't I'm, Actually, I didn't know if that I'm was... I'm a shooter. I didn't know if that was you or me, actually, no, to be honest well, with you. So yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. I should have blacklighted it before I started. Yeah, but no. How was uh, how was your week taking care of my it pooches? It was awesome, man. Yeah. They're so great. I love they're my the dogs. Fucking, they're the best, man. It was absolutely no trouble. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. I, I wanted to do things to the house so bad, <laughs> but Elena scares me. That's true. Um, he, you did kind of get me back, though, a little bit. Okay, so I, I, there's I only tell you. one thing. Okay. Hold on. There's uh, only one thing that I can think of. Okay. That, like, kind. well, there's two. Okay. One of them is your YouTube. That's it. That's the one yeah, I noticed. That's the big one. <laughs> I was like, okay, I could sign into my own YouTube and watch my own YouTube, and it's all laid out for me, but Scotty's YouTube doesn't have commercials. No, it doesn't. So I searched what I wanted on there, and I was like, this is going to fuck up his search. A hundred percent. And I didn't notice this until today. But I didn't care. Until today. I was like, I'm I'm not watching commercials if I don't have to. Fuck no, absolutely. I'm glad you used it. I tried to minimize it. No, it's okay. Here's what I didn't do. I didn't just search a whole bunch of gay shit, because I wanted to (laughs) real bad, dude. I mean, real bad. Yeah, but so I did. What did you? What did you? Search? <laughs> I have more bowling shit on bowling, my YouTube. Than bowling ever. and uh, everybody loves Raymond. I think are the only two things I looked up. I don't know right. if I've seen that. No, I'm sitting at, like I'm sitting at work today, and I'm I'm going through. I'm finally back on my schedule of where I can watch the shows that I normally want to watch on YouTube, and all of a sudden I'm like. Why in the fuck is there bowling shit? I don't like bowling. And it took a couple of times, like, restarting my fucking premium. Yeah, and I'm like, 
Fuck, JP got me. What a douche. I, I well, Like I said, I was just going to watch my own, and then I remembered awesome. that yours doesn't have commercials, yep. and I'm like, well, fuck that. Yep. And yep. then the rest of the week, I just watched The Sopranos. Yeah, I saw that. And I left yeah. it. I left it on for the dogs whenever yep. I leave. I I almost went through the whole series. Yeah. within, within the week. But, got uh, to, I don't know how many seasons there are, but season know, seven but is what we yeah, came home to. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yep. And because you were like, man, if it storms, turn the TV up. Oh yeah, and leave it on loud because that'll help. So I was like, I'm just gonna fucking do it because I'm 30 minutes away, and if it starts storming, I want at least yeah. you know at least that'll be something. But uh. No, man, they were super easy to take care of, and it was awesome. I had a good time. I, was, I wasn't lying. It was when... nice. I felt like I was rich. <laughs> I <bet. laughs> Dude, it was so awesome. I was like, I don't cook at home because yeah. fucking it's just a hassle did to do at home. Did you cook here? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Like every day I cook something, and then I... Uh, did you really? Yeah. Fuck, dude. The only thing we noticed whenever we got home was there was a giant gallon of fucking whole milk in the fridge that you need to take home, by the way. Yeah, you can have it. Just and throw two it away. boxes of fucking cereal. Yeah, throw those away, too. I won't fucking, eat them. Like, what the fuck? What kind of cereal? Yeah. Fruity Pebbles and, oh. like, Cap and Crunch or something. Mm. Was that right? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Does the roof of your mouth hurt? Yeah. yeah. I don't it do, fucks up my mouth, man. I don't man. do Cap and Crunch. And I shouldn't be drinking milk because I'm lactose intolerant. But, I didn't like, know that. So up until I was about... 35 my favorite thing to do was like eat a bowl or two of cereal before bed like that was my bedtime snack really and then when i turned 35 dude something happened and fucking i just can't do milk it really me up. wow so but i was like i'm living it up this week fuck sure. it i'm gonna fuck go it. for it but uh absolutely yeah man did you go down and play the playstation at least no i it looked Not, like you I didn't even go down downstairs. here downstairs why i wasn't downstairs at this all. is where he works for what no no it, it's the other room with the fireplace yeah. for uh, what i don't know the dogs are cool upstairs okay i was cool hey, man. upstairs Whatever. that was what it was man i it, and and plus say, i didn't want to roam around and fucking find something i'd have to fuck <laughs> up. I mean, you know what i mean I, I was scared of what i might find to be hey, honest man. I think everything that your underwear smells good though. I figured I'll you, tell you would. That. <laughs> I figured he did that. Nah, nah I know. Uh, but no, thank you very much. There there Absolutely. was there was legitimately one night out of the whole fucking trip that me and my wife we actually get alerts on our phones whenever there's going to be some gnarly weather come through. And it was the fucking last day of the damn trip. And uh, so we're in full panic mode and it turns out JP's got it on fucking lockdown. So Yeah, man, I had that shit That's covered, awesome. bro. But yes, yeah, so we had the vacation. So I, I'm going to run through it as fast as possible because there was a lot of shit. It was a fucking amazing fucking trip. Tell All right? us every detail. No, I'm not going to go through every detail. First of all, okay, go ahead. Uh, no, we started off at Epcot. I'll wake you up. Like, like here's Thank the you. here's the thing. I'm 36 years old. My wife is 32. A fucking bragger. No, I'm just saying. Good for like, you, dude. Like, yeah. What hopefully, are you? I'm 43. Hopefully, I can go to Disney World yeah. someday. Yeah. Whenever. 47. I've never when, been when, there. When you're an adult and you go Fuck. to Disney, okay, like you gotta like go for an adult trip, right? We did. As much as we possibly could fucking do. Yeah, it All looked right? like you guys did fucking a lot. But the whole target of the entire trip was: Does it have a fucking roller coaster? Cool, we're going on that shit. If and I and I like roller coasters a lot, and that was the whole premise of the whole fucking trip. They, I mean, we got taken care of amazingly. Uh, thank you very much to my brother and his wife. We got Lightning Lane for everything and Fast Pass when we were at Universal Studios. I tried to share like a couple pictures. Um, with me and Fred doing goofy shit. And uh, it was my anniversary trip, but I was fucking around with Fred yeah. the most. Uh, but no bullshit. Fucking roller coasters, every single one that we possibly could. First of all, let me tell you something about Universal Studios. Holy fucking shit, they've got some roller coasters, dog. Yeah. The best one out of all of them, in my opinion, was the Velocicoaster. That motherfucker goes zero to 50 in like three seconds, and it is... Scary. Scared the shit out of my wife. Yeah? To the point to where... Is that a Jurassic Park It related? is a Jurassic Park themed roller coaster, right? Yeah. Way and to pick up on those subtleties. There you go. Hey! Da -da -da. I, was, uh, I was hanging out with some guys and Roxanne came on, you know, the yeah. song. And, and oh, yeah. we, we all silently listened for a, a line or two and I was like, 
so he's a talking to a hooker then. <laughs> and they were like, obviously, yes. And I was like, I just made that connection. All right, go ahead. At Universal, you start, we start at, as right as you walk in, there's the Hulk. And the Hulk is a badass roller coaster as well. A lot of fun, but it has the, it has the restraints Mars, that comes yeah. down over your, your torso, right? Velocicoaster, not so much. Not so much. It's a little and lap belt. Huh? It's a little lap belt. You know, That's I mean, it's a, it's a secure, you know, sure lap belt. Um, and uh, and my wife did fine with the Hulk. Right? We immediately go over and do uh, the Velocicoaster right afterwards. That motherfucker goes very fast and very straight up and down. And she was screaming so loud that my brother turned around in mid ride and was like, "Jesus fucking Christ!" And when we finally stopped, when the ride was over, my wife, it, like mm. white, just completely colorless face is like, I'm so, never fucking doing that again. Wow. So does it just shoot you? You go straight up and then straight back down? No. Because there was one I did at Six Flags called Mr. Freeze. It was mm-hmm. a Batman thing. Uh-huh. That's what, it was really fast. It yeah. was like, but you went straight up and it was so fucking far up there. Mm-hmm. But you could see it as you're getting up to the ride. The track just stops yeah there's just no more track yeah so you're like well i hope we stop before we get there <laughs> and you i mean you get to the very fucking edge of that track and then you drop back down oh yeah but that's that was the whole ride but sure dude yeah i man. don't like heights they had that at worlds of and fun it too sucked black yeah. the mamba the, that's that what it was that's the my least favorite roller coaster on the face of the planet is the, is the mamba fuck that roller coaster i don't like stuff that goes upside down i did as a kid but now as an adult <laughs> i it I depends know. It, Sometimes I, I do. Uh, that sounds sexual. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah. it, I used to. I used to not like going upside down. Now that is the least of my worries. It's it's. God damn, some of these roller coasters. It's it's weird, man. Do do you see? Have you ever seen the TikTok video? You know the slingshot things. Where oh yeah, fucking bungee things. Yeah. Have you seen the one where the, with the little fat kid and his aunt Janice? No. Oh my god, dude! Remind me <laughs> on break. I want to show it to you. Okay. But there's the, the he's they got him all in the restraints and he's like Janice, are you sure this is gonna hold me? And she's like, yeah, whatever. And all of a sudden they shoot and he starts slipping and his fat just starts going up toward her. Dude, he's freaking out and she's rolling her ass off, dude. She's just laughing at him. He's like, I'm slipping. I'm slipping, Janice. I think I have seen dude, it. Dude, yeah, oh, God yeah. damn, I love that. I know what you're talking um, about. That's how I, what I imagine that you would be like on a roller coaster. Oh, no. I am uh, so Because you're so little, you probably just still float just a little bit. No. So you know what I mean? So it's actually kind of funny. Uh, we Everybody wanted to ride next to me on the roller coasters because whenever I'm yelling and having a good time, I sound like fucking Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I'm like, oh, 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 like that the whole fucking time. And so, yeah, I had to. Uh, uh, yeah, there's cool. that. Um, but, uh, last thing at universal, the last roller coaster we did, the reason why I was building up to my wife, not going on Velocicoaster ever again, we were, we wanted to ride <laughs> one last roller coaster at universal. And it's the one of the video of Jimmy Fallon and Kevin Hart, wherever he surprises him and takes him oh, on yeah, that yeah. roller coaster yeah. and they do it twice. Yeah. Let me he break goes, something down to again. you. Yeah. If we, yeah. He's like, we're going again. It's like the rip it rocket roller coaster. I don't yeah. fucking know. Anyways. Uh, my wife was going up to the line. Had the fast pass to get up there right away, and she starts having a fucking panic, panic attack. attack. Yeah, and that she sucks. again, same thing. Her face gets completely yeah. colored, so she's just like, "I can't do this. I can't fucking do this." I was like, "Okay, go, go, no problem." And the whole time we're like getting in this thing, I'm like, "What a wimp," you know. <laughs> that roller coaster scared the fucking shit out of yeah. me. That was probably the most extreme. So I told her after good thing she didn't. Go. I told her after yeah. I got off that thing, I was like, it was probably a very good idea that you did not do it. That one was fucking awesome, but very scary. Um, the best part, though, I mean, we there was a lot of pictures of uh, of like the Disney Castle that's at Magical uh, Magical Kingdom or whatever. M- nice to go with people who have gone to Disney World because right, they're Mo- experts. They man. go right. all they the go fucking all the time. time. Yeah, right. she, uh, you know, yeah. she works for Disney, right. so, so so we have all the hacks. Well, we get to Magical Kingdom and they have like a big huge firework thing that they're doing that night, and it's like a Halloween themed bullshit, and I hate Halloween. Um, but what? the whole. I do. Halloween's I, like the I gay hate, Christmas, I dude. I fucking hate, hate yeah, Halloween. We love Halloween. Oh, like by candy? the way, speaking of gay, your people 
fucking everywhere. Yeah. So I didn't everywhere. know. At because, Disney, imagine that. But d- it was gay days at Disney in California. Oh. So I didn't know if it was the same in Florida or not. But You couldn't go into, oh, I, I say that, every single Disney store had like a pride area. So, yeah. Everyone. Yeah, right. And so... That's fine. Don't care. The thing is, is you'd go That's out. Fine. Who you'd, cares? you'd go out walking around, and you know how I made the joke of like, no, I guarantee you, you would fit right in. Just go around, carry your fucking rainbow That's what flags. They were doing every fucking because one of it was them. gay days, dude. Whatever. I didn't realize they were it. Everywhere. I didn't realize it until my friend, my comedian friend Dante, his his wife is a star in these movies called Eating Out. They're yeah. like gay cult classics. Oh, okay. And she's the star. Oh, cool. And uh, so they were performing in California at oh, Disney nice. for gay days. And I was like, ooh, I wonder if it's in Florida. I wonder if it's at that other one, too. I don't know. And uh, so I hit him, and it was. Oh. It was. Well, So whatever. I was like, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, it was magical there. Did you see the gay days eating out festival? At, <laughs> no. They were, they were in, you were at no, Disney? they were in Florida. They could get a fast pass. They go and scuba diving, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, but so, so yeah, so, so, uh, my brother and his wife go to Disney all the time. So they know what to fucking do and they want to get good like spots and it's just standing. You're just standing room only down the fucking Avenue to this goddamn castle. So guess what my, my brother has figured out to do in order to get good standing air seats or whatever for the fireworks. Did you get on his shoulders? Nope. He rents fat people scooters at the very beginning. And we just go and just make a fucking wall. We Donald Trump that shit. So that way we could just post up and we just stand there. So, but here we are throughout the day driving around fully able bodied people, identif- people identifying as fat fucks nice. in these damn scooters. I didn't feel all that bad. I wouldn't at all. No. I hate walking. I walk for a living. 21,000 steps a day. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. No, I didn't if ride. You, did you, you had to rent them, you said? Yes. Well, then that's well 100%. 100%, okay. right? If you had to like <sighs> pretend to be to something. To be disabled. Yeah. Be like, yeah. I need one of those. And they're like, what for? Yeah. And I stayed as far away from It's a Small World After All. Fuck that ride. No, I'm not going on that shit. <laughs> they stayed away from there. They did piss me off. They put me on a fucking merry-go-round right as we first got there. I was like, get me nice. off this is shit. That, is that where they have tea? Teacups, the teacups. Yeah, yes, yeah. Did you yes. Ride the teacup ride. Yeah. Did you see it? Uh, no, I didn't. I stayed as far away from that as I could. Okay. Yeah. Um, he didn't want to look anybody in the eyes while he was there. I didn't. I didn't. And the other thing was, is it's in Florida. It's ninety. Yeah. And it's humid as fuck. Yeah, I was gonna ask how the weather was. Holy I bet it was bad. shit, dude! You know what surprises me about the entire thing? I could not believe there wasn't a, a fucking store whose air conditioning didn't fucking work. It, it was it was unbelievably hot and humid. But if you walked into a place, oh, of course, whose dude. Door, but their doors are wide fucking open, so matter. they're cooling the outside. And they, they have people for that. Fucking just yeah. they have their own. They, got, they have their yeah. own guys it's that insane. take care of all that. Yeah, I bet there oh, is. A, a, I bet there's, oh, there's a thing a on the, on the stock that. market called like Disney Disney's HVAC. A, yes, yeah, I'm sure. Hundred percent. It it blew me out of the fucking like it's, it blew it's, my it's mind. Re- it's literally its own little world. It could sustain. Yeah. Almost, I mean, they've got everything. Yeah. Short of like. Nuts. Yeah, it, it's crazy. It is Isn't absolutely it like nuts. not technically America there? I don't think so. I think it's. Or is te- that it, just a conspiracy? No, thing? that's a cons- conspiracy. They're like owned by the Queen or something? Yeah, I don't know. Pretty sure I'm right. Yeah, probably. The Star Wars world was fucking spectacular. My yeah, favorite wah, picture. Wah. My favorite picture is of me and my brother walking out, and there's just a hundred stormtroopers. Fi- stormtroopers. Yeah, that was cool. It's a cool fucking picture, and that ride. Animatronic stormtroopers. Yeah, but it still is fucking rad. That That's ride not a is bud. awesome. That was a an extra. Oh, it's crazy. Uh, but yes, yeah, yeah, but it was awesome. It was like, no, awesome. it's animatronic. Yeah. That's, that is awesome. And I'm sure I could sit here and tell more details. Oh, I did want to give a I shout wish out. I had an animatronic uh, boyfriend. I got to meet a. You will someday. I got to meet a listener because that's the only way. <laughs> that's what the right. direction yeah. technology's going. I met a listener down right in Orlando. Cool. Guess, guess who it was? Who? 
Remember the uh, remember Will Gonzalez? Joseph Emma Buzon? No. Remember Will Gonzalez? He's he's the yeah, one that we did the yeah, GoFundMe right. for his mom. It was him? He lives in Orlando. Oh, dope. He came up to Disney Springs and and had a couple beers with me, and it Very was cool. fucking cool. And awesome. I got a picture. I'll, I'll share. I'll share yeah, that later. Right but on, it man. was fucking neat. Uh, I like cool. it when that kind of shit happens. Yeah, that's awesome. And everybody, and the last thing I will, I will mention about this entire trip, and we can move the fuck on. Please. Was obviously I'm terrified of flying. Right, I fucking hate flying more than anything in the world. Yeah. But roller coasters are fun. Totally fine. Weird. You're fucking strapped to the ground. You're good. It's okay. Okay. Uh, but flying, on the other hand, I hated it. Uh, the plane. The, we took, if you compare the maintenance lugs on a plane to a roller, and a roller coaster, coaster, you're way less safe on a roller coaster. That's true. And 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 the lines. Oh, I just hate airports, and I hate. Uh, yeah, the, I get oh, it. Oh yeah, and the reason why I sound like this, and because the reason why I'm sick, is because all you fucking kids that just sit there and just flick and fucking oh, shit on every single hand railing. I don't and like then, that. Ugh, it's fucking gross. Uh, but yeah, so I'm on my last flight home. I've survived three plane rides, and we are on the long home stretch. We're getting ready to take off, and the captain who gets on the fucking PA, they all sound the same. Oh, no, it wasn't a woman, was it? Not- <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, like... Uh, I'd be hitting my butt. I need to get off this plane. No. So all of the other captains on every other other plane you've ever ridden all sound the same. I can't hear what the fuck they're saying. Dude, Not, do that again. No. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, people are going to make Dude, wow. their own videos out of that sound. I'm sure. Was, <laughs> <they> see, <laughs> wait till they see the fucking video. According, according to a quick artificial intelligence search, statistically... Both modes are very safe. However, if we look at the raw numbers, airplanes come out as safer overall than over roller, roller coasters. coasters. Whatever, uh, yes, doesn't matter. Uh, but anyways, all of your air, your air, your pilot people all sound the same. They get up on the fucking loudspeaker and they just can't understand what the heck they're saying. Not this motherfucker. This guy on the this captain on the last flight home gets on, and I shit you not, at least what I could visually see this person talking to me, and he looked like fucking. It was it was Maverick, like yeah, it was Tom right. Cruise Maverick. This dude okay. was smooth. Fucking! It, it, it made me comfortable. I was oh, like, I thought I, you were going to say come. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was like, God damn, we have a lot more. This these flights really fucks you up. Uh, You're trying uh, to deep throw the microphone. Well, no, about like, the pilot coming. Scotty's going, oh, no, uh, no. I'm like this talk dude. To me, Maverick. This dude is just fucking cool, level headed. Goose. Oh, dude. And I'm just like, I am all of a sudden starting to get comfortable. He even gets on like 10 minutes after he talks to us the first time and goes, guys, actually, it looks like in the Wichita area, they're starting to get a little bit of weather. We're going to actually put a little bit more fuel on the plane just in case we have to, de- you know, divert our path and go and land at another airport. Normally, me, Mr. Anxiety on airplane is freaking out at that shit. But Not you're like, all right, good. cool. Fucking because cool. Tom Cruise is up there. Tom Cruise is up driving this motherfucking plane. And that's exactly who I'm imagining. It's, it's like a mix I've between. Seen I've seen that dude do an inverted dive with a MIG. Hundred. I've seen it. Yeah. Hundred. He's like, fine with that. Like yeah. The voice of this guy, I'm legitimately thinking a mix between Tom Cruise and Zach from Saved by the Bell is dude, driving this wow. bitch. Stop it. Sounds like Telling a really cool you. guy. Oh, like, man. Like, I would do things With to the him. fucking aviators and everything. And I so I wouldn't want Zach from Saved by the Bell flying. Me anywhere, I'm though. just saying that's that's what this guy in my head looks like from the sound of his voice. So you right? never saw him. He wasn't. That's what a lot of guys in my head look plane. like. We're getting there. Okay. Okay. Because he's a big, fat, gross guy, right? So we get, uh, we we <laughs> land, and I mean, this was like the most effortless he fucking looks, he looks like Peter flight. Griffin. <laughs> there was no turbulence there. It was fucking smooth sailing, landed, everything. I'm relieved, obviously, because I fucking hate flying. And we are exiting off the plane. I get to look at this fucking captain. Looks like fucking Tweedledum from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> just this big, pop-bellied, fucking dorky-looking dude. <laughs> I'm just like... Hey, hey, man. Whatever. I've I made that same I mistake survived. with chicks before. Yeah, it's like I I survived. Like, man, she sounds hot. Okay. That's probably why he's a pilot. He's probably like this. The only way I can get laid. Uh, I'm a pilot, by the way. Man, oh. I wonder if he does just because of the pilot. Oh, plus, for sure. Plus the voice. That dude yeah. needs to have like a job doing previews or some shit. Everybody like, tells me I have a nice voice. You do. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have a great a, voice. You got a good voice. 
Um, I Sometimes did, I jack off to it. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> it's like a circle because yeah. you're jacking off right. and that makes you go, oh. oh exactly. <laughs> you saying that exactly. makes your ears go, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's I, crazy. I did get asked to rank rank, rank my roller coasters best to worst. I will go Velocir, Velocir coasters number one. Uh, I would go, fuck, I would go Hulk number two. I would go Guardians of the Galaxy. If you get a chance, it's the newest one. It's not scary. It doesn't go upside down. Fucking rad. Uh, but Hagrid at the Harry Park at Universal, that fuck, that's an awesome, awesome coaster, too. What so there's the my top four. What was the stupidest one? Stoop, the dumbest one? Yeah. Where you're just like, that was dumb. Uh, I, honestly, The one man, that looks like an alligator. I didn't go into that one. Dude, you never seen that one? Even no, the I've fucking never. kid. Little kitty one. Even the kid like Toy Story roller coaster yeah. at, at uh, uh, Hollywood Studios was fucking great. It was actually cool. They even have a seven, uh, <clears throat> Snow White and the Seven Doors roller coaster that's for like intermediate. Like if you have a kid that you want to get into the bigger coasters, they say go ride that one. Yeah. That one was great too. I thought oh, they all were great. I had absolute blast. Uh Thank you, all of you guys that commented on those posts. It was really fun. Uh, so I hope you got to enjoy some of those posts and all that. That's stuff, cool too. that the Toy Story roller coaster kind of goes along the same vibe as the Toy Story movies, where you're just like, yeah, it's for younger people, but I enjoyed the hell out of it. Yeah, oh, yeah man. Toy Absolutely. Story is the best. Yeah, Absolutely. They are good. Yeah. I got a little teary eyed in one of them, they're, I think. They're a little the third one? Probably oh, so. Oh, man. Yeah. You ain't kidding. I don't I liked, remember what happened. I stopped, but. I stopped watching after two. Dude, the third ones might be the best one out of all of them that has the big purple bear in it right yeah yeah no yeah. i i know I, you want to you you need to see you want to see this yeah, dude, I, if you I like, stopped it too. it'll change you gotta, your life dude, no. it, it might no it all might. right do I you don't, have any disney oh i watched left? ghostbusters ah. the new ghostbusters oh you did yeah was any good i watched it on your fucking prime oh you did uh the frozen th stuff no it's oh. with a kid uh, oh the kids yeah, the kids. The, yeah, the kids that grow up. I've seen previews, yeah. dude. But I, uh, really good. Good. Really good. Fucking. I awesome. was surprised. I That's thought good. it'd be bad, but it but was it, good. It's not the one where the, everything gets frozen, or there's like frozen guy. No. Mm -mm. I thought that was the newest one with Paul Rudd and shit. Paul Rudd was in it. There's oh. two Paul Rudd Ghostbusters. Oh, there is. Well, oh, weak. I think. The isn't there? One, I, don't I don't think so. I don't think so. No, uh, the, there was the really bad Ghostbusters. Where it was just a bunch of fat, overweight chicks that they decided to make a female version. I didn't hate yeah. that one either. I oh, didn't either. Awful. I, I watched it in a hotel once. It was. I couldn't. I, I say it was awful. I couldn't. This one's finish Homecoming. It. Ghostbusters Homecoming. Yeah, I heard. I heard that one was okay. There's another one called Frozen something or other. Oh, I don't know a about that. Newer one. Yeah, oh, okay. really? All right. Hmm. Whatever. See, now you get to your when that to one it ended, out. it probably ended on a cliffhanger, and you're like, son of a bitch, yeah. what's gonna happen next? Yeah, nope. All right, well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's week week recap. Now we get to move on to the hot topics again. That wasn't that bad, mm, pretty nah, good. The uh, first one was better, I think, uh, probably. Uh, but yeah, now we get to move on to hot topics. What's been going on over the last well, kind of couple of weeks? Oh, lots of stuff. I, I, I. I did also get requests to do this, so I'm going to give it out. We had a listener that wanted to give out a fantasy football tip. I know you guys don't do that no, shit. No, that's cool, no. dude. We need to talk more about fantasy football. Well, a lot football. of people have been asking. They uh, have. I, I did have a situation that I'm going to tell you did not do something that this particular person did in our league. What? The thing is, is that a lot of people are trying to drop players that uh, they don't need to be fucking dropping. Uh, and my perfect example of that is in my league, which is a very competitive league. I am on the trip with me, my wife, and my brother-in-law's wife sitting in the back seat. And we're looking for people who have come off on waivers to see if anybody's done something really stupid and dropped a player Are who's all three very of good. You in the same league? No, just me oh. and Darcy, who is my brother's wife. Got it. And I'm looking at players who have just recently become available, and I see it. And it's big, and I look at my waiver priority, and I have one of the highest priorities. So I just select that waiver, and I sit there, and I just start fucking cheesing like I just won the goddamn lottery. And my wife notices, looks over at me, and says, what did you do? Why are you so happy? I said, nothing. And Darcy looks over at me, and she goes, what did you do? She pulls up her phone, looks at somebody drop Puka Nakua from the Los Angeles Rams because he is going to be out for four weeks. Don't do that shit. Yeah, this is a around, marathon. Dude. Why is he out for four weeks? Because uh, of injury. Yeah, or? injury. And so his name's Puka Nakua. Yeah, yeah. just 
just you got to be fucking smart. Don't do stupid shit like that. You got to put them on, leave them on your bench. Don't do stupid drops. Yeah, that's drops. a dumb one to drop. Just. But there's also a chance that you're like, man, then, since the injury, old Puka's not never it, been the same. And then if you are in that situation, <sighs> let's say that you are in that situation to where you need a wide receiver. You can't sit on Puka, okay? Look to trade this particular player. Right. Don't yeah, drop yeah. him. Yeah. Don't fucking do it. What He's about, got value uh, still. What about Pacheco? Pacheco is actually my situation. I have Pacheco. You already have him. I, I have Pacheco, but so I'm I'm still kind of uh, in a good spot, so I'm just going to hold him until he comes off. That's just basically what I'm going to do. But, again, dude, don't who got just Derek drop Henry? those people. Uh, I don't know. Dude, I'd have to look. Does that dude ever slow down? No, nah, he's a fucking Yeti, dog. It is insane. He's momentum. The shape that that dude is in yeah. and the, the like... He's having one of his best years. You know, you know the superhero or the X Men. I know it's early. Momentum in yeah. that in that X Men. I don't know. I don't know. He's got like the big fucking like dome helmet thing. Sure, man. That's fucking. Momentum. That's Derrick oh, Henry. I'm just doing other shit. Uh, yeah, just fine. Talking about your. Bullshit. Anyways, uh, that's my fantasy football tips. However, take advantage of those if you do have uh, one of those idiots in your league that decides to drop said. Uh, fucking stars. Anyways, moving on. Hopefully, somebody's listening that is like, "Oh fuck, I was about to trade." Yeah, I, I, I was going to give a it tip. Happens. Too, since you got to give a tip. Oh, uh, what do you want? If you have Dak Prescott, trade, trade right <laughs> Get now. Rid of that trade money. for anybody. Oh, shit. Holy crap. I don't know. He might be a buy. He might be a buy low right now. Yeah. It's just it, his, it's just guy. it's just gonna go up from there. It, I don't know. Yeah. So, anyways, we're gonna kick it off with some football news. Uh, just wanted to throw this out there. Um, there is only one <laughs> quarterback this season who has thrown for three hundred yards and three touchdowns in a single game, and that guy's name is fucking Andy Dalton. Crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. For the Carolina Panthers. We break this down to you. Bryce Young is no longer the starting quarterback. They put in Andy Dalton, and he uh, fucking gets him a W. Uh, oh, the dude's a good quarterback. I, I mean, he's he just is. a vet. He's just not. He's just a vet. Yeah, yeah. But he's I'd, a good, solid quarterback, though. Yeah. I'd fucking take him. Yeah, I mean, sure, especially if you had the situation with uh, with Young. So that's yeah. that. Uh, but once again. Uh, well, I don't know. Oh, that's what that's uh, somebody saw. Uh, but once again, the officials help the Kansas City Ch- <laughs> What? I, I it sounds weird through my headphones. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it sounds like somebody's. There's dogs barking upstairs there for is. the listener. That's okay. Uh, but once again, the officials helped the Kansas City Chiefs get a win because there was no pass interference call uh, to wrap up the game against the uh, Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, and then all the Chiefs fans were like, yeah, but the next drive they called like three penalties on it. You guys always Dude. want to throw away yeah, the whistles. Right. No, we uh, just... My one buddy, he's <sighs> like, they would have had the ball at the one-yard line. They would have. That doesn't mean they would score. Shut the fuck up. So, and then i that's what I said. I said, shut up, man. Of course they're going to fucking score. He goes, well, they had fourth and one, and they couldn't get that. Yeah. Okay, man. No. Whatever. Go Ab- fuck yourself. Absolutely not. No, my whole deal is I it, it just bothers the shit out of me that you motherfuckers always get the help from the officials. And so I'm not saying that Derek's right. I'm not saying that. Because, you, might, you might be getting closer to it. Because that would mean <laughs> that I would have to be agreeing with Derek. Yeah, that's never a good idea. That's not a good idea. That'll make your water heater go out. Abs- ax- uh, yeah, absolutely. If you know what I mean. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but yeah, come on. Just yeah. You guys got to admit, you're getting a lot of fucking help, okay? Well, here's the thing. It was so blatant. It is. Like, people that don't even know the rules could have went, yeah, that didn't look right. Exactly. He never even turned around. He just hugged him. Yeah. He just much. ran up to him and hugged him. Before dude. the ball got there. Yeah. And it's just like, what, oh, what the fuck? fuck? Maybe the guy didn't see it. Uh, no. Yeah. yeah. All, maybe maybe they he saw it. Looking. There's every nobody official. else around. Yeah. Every, every official Every had official was so like. Was every official mm. in on it? Um, yeah, dude. All of the ones they that are at the Chiefs the pay, games. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so there was that. And then, hey, well, here's a fun fact. Uh, the Monday night football game between the Bengals and the Washington Commanders uh, was the first game in 84 years without a turnover or a punt. Interesting. Crazy. So did each team just score every time? Um, well, I'm sure they I mean, went for it a couple sort times. Of, I didn't watch the game. There was no turnovers. They either, they either got well, a field goal or a it. touchdown. Or, yeah, or they made insane. a fourth down. So. But yeah, that that was. I guess that's a fun that's, fact. That is kind of cool. And and fucking Cincinnati Bengals. 
are so, are 0-3. Wow. What was the score of that out? game? Who, who would have thought that? Or did they just score slowly and it I, was like a normal? I don't remember the score of the game. I just remember seeing that fact and I was going, are you fucking serious? I liked you really? better when you didn't care about sports. Yeah, me I too, Mike. <laughs> I'm invested in me football. Me too, Mike. Um, I'll, I'll look it up here real quick, but it just kind of shocked me that what that's was the never score of the Bengals game. Way to go, Mike! Way to way to do that. It was thirty-eight to thirty-three. Commanders won. Um, but um, but yeah, uh, Joe right. Burrow is zero and three <laughs> for the Bengals. Way to go, Mike! Good job. You're what? a little behind, but that's okay. I I okay. Whatever. But that's football, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving the fuck on because I wanted to give somebody a shout out who I legitimately have not liked for a very long time. Oh, thanks, man. Not you. Oh. I still don't like you. Um, but I'm just kidding. Did Derek lose, did, <laughs> is this Derek? No. Oh. No. Uh, th- there is somebody who is now going through a weight loss uh, journey. Derek. Probably uh, on Ozempic. I don't, I don't oh, care. Yeah, whatever. Um, but it finally took enough fat shaming and fat jokes on social media that Lizzo is finally working oh, out and losing man. weight. All right. Good for her. And hey, good for you. I, I give you applause. Good for you. You're doing something that neither of us are fucking doing. We're not going into the gym. Nope. nope fuck no. I don't see that happening. Fuck no. I go every day. That's yeah, I right. Bet you do. Uh, and then uh, I don't. Then the <laughs> moving on faster. We're gonna go with uh, something that. Oh. Uh, P. We Diddy. knew it was coming. They got Diddy. They got Diddy. They got him. He's good. Diddy's got got got. He got got. And apparently they found over a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant in his house. It's important now, to have. I was going to say, JP, yeah. why would you need that much? I assume. Well, they were... when you have the kind of parties that <laughs> do, I'll tell you exactly why, dude. Exactly why you need that much. For a pool. Because ain't no party like a Diddy party. Because no the shit. Diddy party just don't stop. Yeah. That's, that's why. So I, I assumed that there are like how many bottles in a case? They probably just had like cases stacked well, on top could of be each two. other. Yeah, maybe. But then also that because you take a kiddie pool, you fill it up with lube, and then you have <laughs> you have chicks wrestle each other. That's, no, I don't think there were any chicks involved, sir. <laughs> there were chicks involved for mm, sure. I mean, no. <laughs> Yes. They're yeah, all I, young men. Uh, I, I would look into that more because, no, I've been reading a lot about it the last few days, and uh, there's a lot of... There, there have been both. I, well, I have he's been heard greedy. Both. But here's, here's... So is the Justin Bieber thing real? Yeah. Is that song real? What? I've never heard that song. Oh, I don't Him know. Him talking that. about he lost himself at a Diddy party. Oh, I don't like, know. It, it's all over TikTok. I, I feel terrible. I don't know that I've ever heard that one. I feel terrible for Bieber, though. Because you know. I feel jealous of Diddy. <laughs> Shut the fuck like, up, you dickhead. Lucky That's bastard. Awful. That's so awful. Oh, Justin yeah. Bieber? You oh, lucky yes. fucker. That's awful. Basically, the song's talking about how he sold his soul for a Lamborghini and fame. And oh, man. He regrets it. And, I'd do that, though. But, yeah, I, would do, I would do that, see, too, okay. if you're talking so about Justin Bieber. Oh, no. No, definitely oh, not that. No, um, but no. I, what I'm what I'm waiting to see happen because Diddy's dead to rights. He's gonna be in jail. Oh, period. forever, right? I don't know. Because here's the thing: you get a plea deal wherever you start turning over people who have gone to a couple of places like Epstein's Island. Well, then you get Epstein. Then you Epstein. Get, <laughs> yeah, then you exactly. Get Epstein. I mean, that's, those yeah. are his options right so, now. Right. So I don't know, but I'm kind of curious because I. I, I kind of want that to happen, if you know Dude, what I'm saying. Um, you know who was at Diddy's parties a lot? Obama. Uh, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. Oh, no shit. A lot. I, I've seen all, And I've Jackson seen, Mahomes. I've, oh, that doesn't surprise me at all. No, but I mean, I guess they were there several times. I am. For, that's just. And again, look, this is just what I've seen. Whether it's credible or not, I don't give a fuck. I'm just talking. So if I'm wrong. Go fuck yourself. Well, don't be going and fact checking. Me. I know. I we don't know anything fucking, about I don't, this. Yeah, I, I, I'm assume just, I that see what I see on the internet like everybody else. And sometimes anymore, it's hard to fucking tell what's it real is. and what's not. It really is. I assume that Diddy's parties were probably sort of similar to Epstein's Island. Oh, which, probably, sure. Which yeah. is that 75 to 90% of the people that you went know, to it. This were started like, with Hugh Hefner. We're like not, you know, they were there innocently or they were there like, hey, man, I'll fucking go to an island. Yeah, you know? right. Yeah. And after you go a few times, you're then you're like, like mm, I know what's going on there. Yeah. But, but I mean, like there's people on Epstein's flight log or whatever that are like 
Like, dude, I, yeah, <laughs> I took a plane ride. I didn't fucking do anything yeah, weird, I you know? But I didn't go there. <laughs> I, didn't I, I didn't do anything weird. weird. Like, I, I just... And I, I think that's probably more closer to the truth, is that there are probably... Oh, sure, there's a there, bunch. There was probably ditty parties that didn't have that shit going on, and people are going to be dragged into that goddamn thing. Yeah, and people are, pro- like, per- yeah. like, deleting their tweets of, like... Yeah, like, just pink, hanging out at a ditty pink. party. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh man, I would oh, love yeah. to run into Pink, her. At I a think Ashton party. Kutcher. Oh yeah, I, I'm so fucking mad that I <laughs> didn't become famous and get to go to the Diddy parties while they're still around. I'm we're, glad we're that working you didn't because you, damn, you, you'd yeah, probably be getting ratted out by Diddy. Right Turn now. your microphone to where we can hear you talking to the S mic. I'm talking into it. Yeah, you no, sound like you're not. down. You're talking into the microphone. No, yeah. I wasn't. There you go. That's a little better. The S I wasn't even face towards you still. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Uh, but the last thing for hot topics huh. is hundred hey, percent better. That is different. This, Weird. This is you something fucking... that's that's kind of uh, kind of world <laughs> news. But you guys, as comedians, should fucking. I'm, I am setting this up for you on a goddamn tee. But anyways, um, walkie talkies and pagers have started to explode in Be- in Beirut and other parts of Lebanon on Wednesday in a second wave of attacks targeting devices a day. After pagers used by Hezbollah blew up, do you see this shit? Yeah. No. Yeah, Let I, me break this down to you. Hezbollah terrorist group, right? They are using pagers because they know that their lines are tapped and correct, stuff. Correct. That so they're being smart. So they fucking yeah. went backwards. Correct. And they uh, are now exploding because it, they have been tampered with are is that why oh yeah but i mean are there explosives in them or are the batteries exploding no there's explosives they put in who did that Uh, i i think it was uh i think it was actually like 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 they're like secret yeah like yeah what do they got a guy out in the corner like pages get your pages pages, no nothing wrong with this page you put it on your belt they probably (laughs) infiltrated the uh like the they're like all right we're gonna make them think they're looking at yes there has to be something to where they bought a whole bunch of pagers and walkie-talkies so they can communicate with each and other. They blew them up. And they blew them the fuck up. What? I mean, like twenty five hundred people. Dude, how involved. genius is that? Brilliant. Whoever came up with that? Great idea. Wow. But but where are you getting your goddamn pagers from? Fucking eBay? Probably. I mean, they're really. They're like, but how can we I'm buy saying. ten thousand pagers at once? That's what I'm saying. They type in something on their computer, and the CIA website pops yeah. up, and they're like, order. Oh and, yeah. And they're like, all right, let's send them these. Absolutely. I, that's I want crazy. grenades. I, I legitimately. Awesome. Oh god, I just thought. You know what would be funny is if uh, the the page that they get it just goes eight oh oh like eight boob. Bomb. <laughs> or bomb or some boom. shit like boom. Boom, boom. That'd be fucking hilarious. Dude, that's, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. That's so fucking... Like, there's... <laughs> there's one... They're, they're all, like, fucking sitting around in a room with a fucking drone flying over the Hezbollah people. Oh, yeah. The guys go, watch this. <laughs> Well, what's... F- and here's the other they thing. They just start fucking randomly exploding. So, like, there was, what? like, the first day. So this That's is crazy. This has happened in two days, though, dude. That's the other thing I'm saying, is that, like, how stupid do you have to be? It was like, one day, a whole bunch of pagers are blowing up. Guess what? The yeah, next dude, day, they do you. it again. Yeah. What fucking morons, like... I'll nah, take one of those. Probably not my pager. Pager. Probably not my pager. Well, that's why Fucking I idiot. asked if it was the battery or something, because you would think they would open up one of the pagers and look Realize. inside it well. now and be like, fuck, there's explosives in all of them. Yeah. But no. you can make a battery explode. Sure. As big as a fucking little stick of dynamite. Well, then, I, then I'll then i go out and say, I don't know, but they have obviously somehow been tampered with so they can remotely go off. That's what I'm saying. Interesting. That's yeah. interesting. I'm going to have to look all that up. So, And you know what? If I'm wrong, guess what? This is the news that I've got at least up to this <laughs> right. point. If I'm not Again, right, guess what? Go but fuck if, yourself. If it isn't uh, uh, pagers with explosives in them, that means that the same technology could make our phones explode. Correct. The same way they're making those pagers oh, explode. If you don't think they've got that technology, you're crazy. So let me For ask. Sure, they can do that. That's I guess like overload a battery yeah. enough to yeah. explode. You yeah. every fucking that? electric car out there. Surely. Just one day. Yeah. Pow, 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 pow. Have you not seen them yet? Uh, the, ele- the electric cars? Yeah, but I haven't seen one be remote detonated oh, no, by no. a terrorist organization. No, I've, I've I've seen one probably as hot as the surface of the fucking sun. 
Uh, I've seen one of those. That's pretty hot. I yeah, that is hot. You, 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 I'm surprised you didn't burn your retina. It's fucking rad. Uh, it's like 93 I mean, not like live in, or something. Not like live in person. But no. like, you know, I video. But anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then, and uh, last Even not, the video burns your eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the ring. Yeah. Uh, and the, I guess I, I didn't. You didn't watch that video of the sun, did you? Yeah. I can't see <laughs> anything. <laughs> Never look at it. Sorry. And I guess uh, I, di- I didn't put this on there, but I-, I might as well just go ahead and remind everybody. Um, I understand we're going through an election year. Uh, don't don't try to fucking kill any of the uh, people who are running for president anymore. Please don't start a that civil guy. War. That guy said that, uh, in his letter that he would give whoever. 150 grand. 150 and they, grand. Yeah. And they posted it. And they posted they it. They won't share a right manifesto away. from a right. school shooter or whatever. But they but posted it right stop. away. So they'll post this that's like, this hey. ridiculous. Hey, everybody. Stop doing this shit. I do not want to go through another civil war. Please don't. Uh, I know we have differences, but don't stop doing this shit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is hot topics. Uh, literally, fucking walkie-talkies and pages blowing up. That's hot. That's hot. Uh, but anyway, and Wyatt topical. Carmichael. Yeah, no shit. Oh, that's the guy who's Wyatt Carmichael is my yeah. niece's boyfriend. Oh, that's awesome. Really? That, yep. uh, well, right. let's, let's get to it first, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, that was hot topics. Now we get to move on to never have I ever. Very excited. I'm excited. And uh, they just already spilled the beans. So, uh, but yeah, Wyatt, thank you for the suggestion. Uh, First one comes in from Wyatt Carmichael. He wants to know, never have I ever wrecked someone else's car. I work at a fucking dealership. Of course I have. I've I've wrecked a lot of things. (laughs) Butts. Yeah, mostly mostly anuses. Oh, God. Uh, No, cars. Mostly rectums. I don't think I've ever wrecked a rectum. I, I not like really wrecked. I mean, like I'm not, not even your own. No, <laughs> I mean I've had a day where I'm like right. I got to wipe softer because yeah, I right. wrecked. That's it. what I'm saying. But That's what not, I'm saying. I'm not, sure you wrecked your God. own on accident. That's just from like looking at memes on the toilet too long. Yeah. Oh God! I'm like, oh no, it's all. Yeah, I've never like wreck wrecked. <laughs> like I, I've never like totaled a car, but I've what? We're the same again. Oh yeah. You the only just, time I've done wreck, it wreck, yeah. was at a dealership. I oh, worked okay. at Saturn. Oh, okay. And I was detailing a final detail on a truck that we just sold, quad cab. Uh huh. Oh, Fucking gorgeous truck, dude. Saturn? Yeah. Was it a Saturn truck? No. Okay. No, it was a Ford truck. Okay. But Whoa. it was fucking beautiful, dude. Yeah. Gorgeous. And I fucking, I mean, they flipped it, just got done cleaning it. It looked so fucking good. And I'm coming out of the fucking bay, and it's a quad cab, and I'm high as fuck. It was right, <laughs> after, it was right after lunch, my boss and I went out and fucking had lunch and fucking got so high. <laughs> and I just turned it a little bit too sharp, yep. and I skinned the whole fucking side of that oh, thing. God. God. Uh, they went to is Scott Hatchet. Is that the guy? I think so. Yeah. So they go to get Scott, and he comes, dude. He's already not a nice guy. Yeah. He, fuck, I mean, he hands me these papers. He goes, you go get drug tested right now. Go to this address, blah, 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 blah. I fucking wanted it up, fucking threw it yep. behind me and walked to my car. Gotta go. See ya. But yeah, they ended up having my boss told me, you know, later on. They had to reskin the whole fucking truck. Oh yeah. They gave him like fifteen thousand dollars off the price of the truck. Jesus they fucking Christ. reskinned it because they didn't want a diff. They wanted that fucking truck. Uh, it was just like that's insane. How crazy. long ago was this? Oh god, I was young, dude. I was, I was gonna say I was still I wouldn't in high even, school. I wouldn't yeah, even tell have. people. I was still in high school, man. I was like probably maybe seventeen. The statute 16, of limitations that's is way probably gone. run out. That's way so. gone. Oh yeah, you're safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. A, long time I, ago. I, again i've never wrecked wrecked somebody else's yeah. car but i like fender bendy or, and, and it happens from time to time so no big deal mike did you say yes or no no i've had other people almost wreck my car before I was i've had do- somebody wreck my car i was doing a long road trip with a with another comedian and it was uh snowing and icing and shit outside and we had like a 20 hour drive and i had driven like 
16 hours in a row and i was just fucking d- doing like, this I shit gotta like stop. i was like dude i you gotta drive i'm gonna sleep and so i'm in the passenger seat he's driving i got the seat all lean back and everything it's probably five minutes and i f- hear him go whoa <laughs> <laughs> and I, so we're fucking spinning and all this shit and i was like pull over nope you don't get to drive anymore uh, was i was funny. like i've been driving through this shit for half a day and i have had zero incidents <laughs> It was it was Steve Peters, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Damn it. it was somebody who That's I'll fine. tell you off the air. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, great question. Great question. Wyatt Carmichael yeah, and buddy. great ass. Yeah, fine. <laughs> great. Uh, next one comes in from Caleb Hill. He wants to know: Never have I ever peed on an electric fence? No. Shockingly enough. No. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> we live in Kansas with electric fences. I've never fucking pissed on a fucking Dude, electric fence. <laughs> I grew my. <laughs> Yeah, my mom's side of the family is from a itty bitty little town in northern Kansas. Oh yeah, it's all farms. I've been pond fishing at you know farm ponds for my whole life, and no, no, you don't <laughs> pee on the electric fence. No, you learn that real early that you just you don't fucking do that. Yeah, I know it's a bad you, idea. Yeah, it's bad. So idea. no, I've never done that. Uh, you too, Mike? Mike. I don't think I've ever even <laughs> seen, an seen an electric fence. fence. Oh, they're here. They they keep cattle from breaking your fences. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I know what they are. You definitely don't want to pee on one. Yeah, you that, don't. Yeah. That, it'll shock you. Yeah. I mean, it'll cut, not really. You're right. Sort of. I don't want to pee on one. <laughs> That's not even in my. I'm actually shocked for well, us living in I'll Kansas. tell you what. If you change your mind, let me know. I know where, you know where I a know, good electric know fence is. I know where a place is. Absolutely, we do. Go. All right, cool. Uh, next one. Uh, some of these, uh, by the way, thank you guys for participating in Monday Fun Day, but uh, you guys participated. Uh, the ones that, who made it to the show were good, uh, but there was a lot of bad ones. So anyways, uh, next one. Uh, never have I ever cried during or immediately after masturbating. <laughs> No, I haven't. <laughs> I've cried during and immediately after sex. <laughs> what? I, it was during a breakup, you know. Oh yeah, like you told one, us that. One of the last that. ones or whatever and <laughs> Um, no, but no, but that reminds me of family guy where he's like, I'm going to go masturbate even though it's Christmas. And, and then he goes in the bathroom and walks out and he goes, what's wrong with me? Yeah, I do it all the time. I use my tears as lube. I was going to say that's crazy. People make that joke, but tears are not good lube. No, no they're awful. If anything, it would like snot would be a better lube. Oh, than, that's so gross. I'm just know. saying that's okay. basically spit. It's JK. more lube to it. Hawk to it. A lot of hawk. Yeah. A lot of hawk too. A lot of no. hawk. That's why. That's why I respect P Diddy enough to actually get lube, <laughs> so people don't have to use <laughs> tears or snot. Yeah, oh. you, apparently you had cases of this. I shit. mean, you got to look on the at the bright side of everything. Well, to answer this, no, <laughs> I I have not done that either. So, uh, next one: Never have I ever puked on a roller coaster or other thrill ride. Yes, yes. I have. On the what at Worlds of Fun, it was called the Barrel. I don't know what it, it's all over at, uh, but it's one of it's the thing Where that spins in a circle and then the floor drops, drops out, out and it holds you up. And yeah, dude, I I didn't puke during the ride, but I felt like I was gonna. And then the moment I got off, I was like, Bleh. I was that guy. Like really? I puked in the room. I I have never ever felt sick on any kind of a thrill ride whatsoever. Oh. Uh, Oh, I get yeah, sick just all the time. that. I get motion sick. So okay, I'll tell you my least favorite ride. Uh, now it came to me, the Tower of Terror. Oh yeah, at at, at Hollywood Studios That's the one and Disney. That just drops. That's the elevator that just goes up and down, up and down. Twilight Zone bullshit. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I I hated it because I can't. You can't see where you're gonna go. Right. You just know you're gonna <laughs> fucking go down. Yeah. Right. It's just um, the feeling though of like your belly it's, up in your. It's throat. just me not knowing when it's gonna happen because they I'm change. Used to they, in my throat. they change it every time, every ride. Yeah. Like every single time it goes up and down. Have you seen times. those videos where the guy's like, "Hold on, I gotta. F- there's something's wrong with the chain," and yeah. then he hits the button yes. and people are like, "What?" Yes. No, uh, we, <laughs> we we actually don't call it the Tower of Terror anymore. We call it the, the Chair of Cheer. <laughs> it's nice. But, but yeah, fuck that ride. Uh, but no, I have never uh, thrown. You said you have. Oh, for sure. Like I get time? motion sickness. Really oh, bad. God. so I have to take Dramamine before I go to them places. But it was in the, in the gayest fucking ride, the Scrambler. <laughs> I fucking threw a dude. It's too, like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't like. That's oh, what I don't fuck, like. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. You're such a wuss. I really. You know what? It's no wonder I'm fucking alone. Yeah. Why? 
this is all my problems. Yeah. I don't think I wouldn't and put that on a he's co- on a list of He's colorblind, he has motion sickness. What's I have a, a drug problem. I don't know. I don't consider marijuana a drug. I like to suck dick yeah. a lot. That, that that was, that's a problem. That's, that's a problem. problem. That is yeah. a big that, problem. Dude, we list I'm poor. Yeah. That that my car has four different size tires on it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. They'll all even out eventually. That's what I think too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last one. Never have I ever had to conceal a boner. Oh, dude. Oh, for sure. All J- the time. JP has to do it every time he does this fucking show. Dude, all the time. Every time. Otherwise, the table will lean <laughs> up. <laughs> for sure. Thanks for concealing yeah, that. For sure. Would. All this shit would be on the floor. <laughs> That's right. No, I can. I've. Uh, yeah. Multiple oh, times yeah. in my life. I'm like, here's how a monkey walks. <laughs> Just so I can like, lean forward. And <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there were multiple <clears throat> times that people That's were like... That's his go-to. Yeah. <laughs> That's his go-to whenever he's got an impossible boner. People are like, come on, Mike. Have you the, ever seen a monkey walk? The burgers are ready. Get out of the pool. Oh, I'll be out in a minute. Oh, Just hang man. on. Dude, I I was... Uh, I'm sure of it. Oh, I'm sure I have. sure I have. You just but don't. I just... Yeah, I can't think of like a situation, like, especially anymore. I've been married to my wife for 10 years. Do I need to conceal that? No. In well, fact, not to her. Yeah. Like, you know. I'm guessing it's not that hard to conceal. Shut the fuck up, baby. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, I got a no, boner like- in front of a girl at Chipotle once, though. And <laughs> she was, we were getting. It wasn't the girl. It wasn't the girl. It was the burrito that gave it to me. <laughs> no, we were getting uh, napkins and stuff at the same time, and I don't even remember how it came up. But I was like, "Yeah, I'm in town to <laughs> to do comedy." I re- I remember how it came up. <laughs> yeah, right. And just I guess just the idea of her like flirting back or whatever. I was like, "You should come." And she was like, "Maybe I will." And my wiener's just like, "Is it time?" Oh, I'll come too. Do too. we go now? Oh, and I God. I don't know if she saw it or what, but I know I looked at it and then like looked. <laughs> back to her and i was like all right i'll see you later I, like, okay i guess i guess okay maybe like back in high school or something like that like whenever like maybe jim yeah I, for sure jim right for me because yeah well well 100 percent. well we had co-ed gym oh so. uh, well we, yeah, did. we yeah. did too yeah so it was like you were in fucking gross you're wearing like the flexi shorts and you're just like oh shit oh you yeah know? oh my goodness i yeah, love man, gym my favorite part of high school was when we would have football practice the cheerleaders would have their practice yes. on the other side of the field while the volleyball girls were doing stuff inside. So there was a point during each practice where all three of us would converge together. Yep. Oh, man, that was, those were great Good times. days. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Never Have I Ever. Uh, now we get to move on to JP's very favorite part of every single episode. Where do you draw the line, JP? It's That's where I draw the line, but whatever. That's I was enticing him to... to uh, that's where I do the line. Okay. Well, and, not today. Okay. All right. Uh, but the first one comes in from Big Mike F. I did modify this one because he gave me the idea, but it's a good question. Okay. Uh, he wants to know, at what age do you consider someone to have lived a good life? Man, it, man, it's man, a deep it, fucking question. I don't think so. I don't think age has anything I to do with so it. I don't think so either. I've, yeah, yeah. I know some 80-year-old pieces of shit, and I know a guy who died when we were in high school, and I was like, man, that guy fucking lived. Yeah. yeah so, I yeah, I don't think it's an age I thing. 100%. I, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I think it is definitely not an age thing. It's, it's uh, yeah, because I, I, I can say the same thing, too. I can say I've, I've probably, fuck, a uh, couple guys I went to high school have, have uh, recently passed away, and I'm just like, shit, dude, they fucking went hard in the paint. You know what I mean? But <laughs> That doesn't necessarily mean they lived a good life. Oh, no. I, I mean, like, lived a great life. Yeah. I know this Mormon that died young, and he lived a good life. Did he? A prosperous and gentle life. Well, that's good. Okay. Well, now he's in... Filled with Jesus or whoever the Mormons believe in. I don't know if they go to heaven or not. I don't know if they that's do. That's okay. I think they at least go to purgatory. <laughs> yeah, okay. That worked. I think if there's a heaven, there's got to be like a... They're like, all right, l- last chance. <laughs> I right? agree, yeah. You I can agree. come in, but don't try to sell me any Bibles on Sunday morning. I mean, it's like there's heaven and it exists, but they're like, no, nah, you should have believed the thing on when there was zero proof of it. Yeah. And I, you're like, come on, can I do something to get in here? I've always, I don't want to do religious shit, but I've always been told, like, we're all sinners, every single one of us, and each one of us has a, has our own sin, so we got to pay for it when we get up there. Speak and for yourself, sir. You're fucking gay, dude. Yeah, hey, New Testament, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. That's fine. James. That's fine so, now. All right, yeah. that's fine. All right, anyways, 
Uh, next one comes in from Wayne Fagnoli or Fargnoli. Fargnoli. Sorry, oh, Wayne. man. Fargnoli. Wow. Got some new Testament on the brain. Yeah. Huh? No yep. kidding. Wayne wants to know, what is the maximum number of weddings for the same person you would attend? However many they have. Oh, bull fucking shit. Friend. If no, dude, like if it was you, I'd go to every single one of them that you had. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna love them. They're <laughs> gonna be so good. But after the a, after Mike has the first one, I don't know if I'm going to yeah, the second I, okay. one. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. So I got a friend that got married, and so I was, I'm not gonna go to Derek's second wedding. Right. I was a groomsman <laughs> for this one, and I'm gonna be honest with you. He's one of my best friends, and I love the guy. And I'd do anything for him except but. be in another one of his weddings. <laughs> it was so fucking boring, dude. It was. I was like, oh, it was, it was bad. How about you, but Mikey? I'm happy for him. Uh, I started doing comedy at a really young age, and so it became, oh, man, I would love to go to your wedding, but I have a show that week. I can't, you know, and I got to follow my dream, and I can't. So then, yeah, I haven't been to a wedding in Jesus probably Christ. 10 years. Good I hear stories you. of people all the time that are like, I have to go to this wedding. And I'm like, dude, they don't care. <laughs> they are not going to be like, where's that one guy? Why didn't he come? Uh, well, yeah, I hear you. Uh, next one comes in from Alex Robinson. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? How old is too old to be going to Disney World without kids? Again. Valid question, no. dipshit, but I guess don't what? Think there's any age. Oh, no, there's an age. There's an age. Here's the deal. If you go with a group of people that don't have any kids, that's one thing. If you go to Disney World by yourself with no kids... Yeah, there's a fucking age. What if you live what nearby, is, though? What and, is the age? And you love the I philosophy. Might to, I might need to make a quick phone call and get rid of some tickets. I'm telling you right now, if you're if you're over the age of, of like, 22, okay. that's weird. <laughs> that's fucking weird. Hey, if you're yes. going to Disney he's World not, by He's not yourself. really on the phone. He's so, faking this. So my I can World see his tickets. phone. Yeah. He's I, not on it. He's I'm lying. Just, I'm just saying, if you're by yourself... Dude. Don't go to Disney World by yourself at 22 or older. Just I don't, don't know. Do it. unless you I, it's, it, unless you work there. Everything depends on the I individual. Agree. I agree. You can't. There's no overarching. Like I used to not want. I used to think it was weird when I would see a guy by himself at a comedy show. But now I'm like, dude, come to a comedy show by That's yourself. Not like the same. Please, but if the, I think the same thing about people that go out to eat by themselves. I think that's weird. No. I think that no. it's, it depends on the person. No. Yeah. What the fuck are you guys talking about? You do can you go know, to the movies by yourself. Do you know that's what Disney weird World too. by yourself? Okay, hang on a second. Time out. Do you know what Disney World was completely and totally designed and organized for? Uh, Kids. Child, uh, child trafficking. Kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. That, Don't go yeah. by yourself if you're an adult. If you go with a group of people, that's a little bit different. I get that because you're having fun with your friends. If you go by yourself, it kind of tells me you're kind of going after some younger friends. They're See what doing, I'm saying? They're like, make, let's make a whole amusement park. A lot younger friends, JP. Oh, never no. mind. Let's that, make a whole place where the richest, be, most genetically uh, like positive people in America will bring their perfect children for us to choose from. Oh, oh yeah. Let's, let's have them all bring them to us. You weirdos. Uh, next one. Uh, at what point do you jump into a fight with total strangers? Uh, I don't. I've gotten in arguments with girlfriends before where I say... Oh, no, 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 not not verbal. I'm talking like fist. No, I'm fist saying I've, I've gotten in arguments with girlfriends before because I've said I will never fight a guy over something that was said to you or that he said about you. I was like, I'll oh, fight sure. a guy to protect you physically. Yes. But I'm never going to be, what'd you say to my girl? Yep. And she was like, "What? I can't believe that you wouldn't fight for me." And I'm like, "Oh, I will. I'll protect you, but I'm not going to protect your feelings." Uh huh. No, and I think that's a valid point. I, here's the here's where I draw the line: is I have to see the whole thing go down, because if I just see like uh, one person hit another person, and that's all I saw, I don't know if the person who got hit fucking deserved it. Right. But if I see the whole thing go down, and a dude um, strikes a female, I get re ridiculously fucking pissed off and if i can justify <laughs> if i can justify it i will hop in and beat the fuck but, out of but her if he with just him. walks up on it he's like usually, i need to know the whole story here you usually missed, whenever i see a dude hit a girl i give him a gift card yeah you guys missed my joke 
You guys just trampled all over it. Don't you hate that? I didn't. I, I didn't hear a joke. Yeah, it happens to me I, like I, three I times a show. I, I legitimately said I will jump right in there and help him beat the shit out of oh, her too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep, I did. I was so uninterested in what you were saying <laughs> that I didn't catch that I last wasn't, part. I was That's just good. ready to argue about good it. Good job, Scotty. I was Thanks, like, guys. you shouldn't fight people for things. Great job, Scotty. You're the best. But yeah, now you know how I feel. I'm trying to set up a slow burn joke, and you guys shit all Just over shit my face. Shit all over it. All right, and oh, last boy. last one. At what point should one be allowed to compete in the Special Olympics? JP, you're in. <laughs> Yep, we're going to all just hinge on JP's answer. Wasn't that a, a Johnny Knoxville movie, like in the last yeah. 10 years? Yeah, the Ringer. Well, the know, Ringer, yeah. that's right. Yeah, was it more than 10 years? Am I old? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. that was like 1994, dude. Actually, I think <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was just a couple years ago. I'm almost positive it was the year I graduated, which was like 06. I think that's about Yeah, right. I was going to say, I was gonna say yeah. like 2005, 2006, yeah, somewhere I think there. Yeah, right. we'll take that. Yep. Um, when you're retarded <laughs> i mean jesus christ that's the only answer man oh well or if you get something that chopped off comeback. no that's that's the paralympics oh oh yeah that's okay yeah that, sorry. yeah that's when you have when an actual body to form and i'm not talking about fucking ass burgers or fucking charrettes or something <laughs> you gotta be retarded <laughs> you have to like, be like do they have to take a test no because you can tell that's it if you have to have a test to prove it then you're out uh, if, yeah if, that's valid if i can't walk up to you and go yeah, yeah all right you're over here you're <laughs> over here then no okay so this initially was just supposed to be like a, a fucking joke kind of a thing well, but but now we're writing rules no but yeah. here's the deal though like they have a special program at Disney that if you have a child that has a mental disorder of some kind, of some kind of Down yeah. syndrome or whatever, they really want to prioritize those kids. Which is awesome. Which is man. fucking great. Which is fucking okay? awesome. But because they have this particular program, Scotty got a fast pass for free. <laughs> no, that's how that's how she did it. That's how no. you got your fast pass. No, yeah. no, no. I what? need a fast pass, please. <laughs> I got no. a fast pass. <laughs> Follow me, guys. Oh God, you son of a bitch! No pieces of shit take try to take advantage of. Oh, it. I'm sure. At, at both parks, it's Disneyland like, and Disney World. Kind of like able-bodied people riding fat people scooters. <laughs> <laughs> but you have yes. to pay money for it, but so, you it's money for so it's fine. So it's okay. But no, they so they actually have to arrange a meeting to actually meet with you, and I'm sure it's actual professionals who can tell. Yeah. It's like okay, you yeah, tell. you're you're fucking, I mean, you're good. Go ahead. Put your hands in mine. Yeah, no, <laughs> but Are you doing a real thing or yeah. okay? You're retarded. Give this man a fast pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I was like, are you miming something or do I really get to touch you? Anyways. <laughs> but that's all I'm trying to say. Get sick now. Have them meet with fucking <laughs> with a professional first, you know. Have the prop, that's, proper, yeah, okay. proper evidence. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where I draw the line this week. It was very magical. Very magical, right? I got a fast pass. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not a part of this. Yeah. No. Now we get to move on to <laughs> questions and preguntas. Thank God. My lord. Hey, we're running long, boys. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. First one comes in from Chris Wells. He wants to know what would be the worst superpower to have. Uh, you explode and die. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's not much of a superpower. Right. I think that's when you just carry around a whole bunch of pagers and walkie talkies. No, yeah, you right. get it once. You can do it once <laughs> you can in do your it life. One time. Most of them don't survive to through childhood. I just uh, there's just something about like the the whole Elastigirl thing, like the you know how yeah. being super stretchy. I yeah. don't know if I want that. I like. That. I would like that. No, Me can too. you imagine if your wife was Elastigirl? You're not stretching out the sides of anything. That's okay. No. That's okay. No, she can do you like tie her in a fucking knot around it or some shit. No, she's not just falling all over the place. She can control what she does. So you could be like, I want an an asshole shaped hole today. (laughs) And she's like, I don't feel like it. Just do my hand. I'll make it feel exactly like an asshole for you. And you're like, thanks, baby. Yeah, that'd be a good superpower girl to date. Uh, I wouldn't want Jesus Christ. 
Or you could do, if you're the dude, you could do like dildo shape things. You could change the shape of your dick. I would like to be, what's his name? Mr. Fantastic. Okay, sure. That's the elastic guy, right? All right, fine. Uh, any of you guys have anything? Um, I would say reading people's minds. Oh, yeah, that's dark. That because, could be bad. Dude, it depends if you it, can control it or not. Right. Uh, if you could control it, then it would probably be okay, but. The way that I would I would think you could just hear it all. Oh, that would not be good. No, no. I don't no, think that. Be but good. it would get yeah. it would end up like cicadas or crickets or whatever. Where like at yeah, first you you're like ah, but yeah. after a while you're like, dude, I don't, I don't even I don't hear, even it. hear it yeah. unless I stop and listen to it. How about like involuntary X-ray vision to where you can see it everybody would... without their clothes on? <laughs> he just threw up in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. But if it if you've always been like that, then you wouldn't know any different. Oh no, it's a it's a new superpower. It just kind of happens at the point. They just okay, you so compound V. There's this kid at work. <laughs> oh god. There's this kid at work. You know him. Okay. Shane Laffery. Lahari, oh, yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah, he looks yeah. like Bruce Valanche. Yep. So he, he has X ray vision. No, no, he looks like a, like a lesbian PE teacher from yeah. the 1990s. He really does. Which is a good yeah. description. But he showed me a picture this girl sent him, but it was just like from her waist to her neck, no, no head, but just tits. And when he first showed it to me, I was like, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was him. Oh my God. Yeah. What did he say? So he's like, no, that's not me. I was like, oh, okay. Was, well, why girlfriend? are you showing me? Yeah, oh, I was like, I, do, I don't know why no. you're showing me that anyway. I but. hope that she's not listening. No, nope. <laughs> she's like, you just showed my tits to fucking JP. Why? Uh, JP. I assure you that she's not listening. JP, it's okay. JP does not. He doesn't care. Not like no. they yeah. look like Shane's. I thought, <laughs> I thought they were Shane's. So. Oh God! All right, next one comes in from Alex Shinever. He wants to know the Shinever. Shinever, sorry. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. He wants to know. No, Alex Schneeber. Jesus Christ. That's all I'm, Alex. Alex Schneeber. We'll never get through this episode. Uh, he wants to know the new porn movie starring Lightning McQueen from Cars. Oh, that's, Ta that's easy. Is it? Yeah. What? Take it up the tailpipe, baby. Yoo-hoo. All right. No, not that well, yeah, that I think one. you had it right. Oh, shut up. Uh, take it up the tailpipe. <laughs> yeah, take it up. Uh, get it? Tailpipes. It's gay. Yeah. I don't get it. Um, yeah. I you, don't know. You and Doc. That's... Yeah, I haven't watched it recently enough to to know if you... If you want me to make a, a Age of Ultron joke, then I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I've watched recently. I can't, I can't. I've been I've been around Disney too fucking long this week. Jesus Christ. Demo demo derby gangbang. Yeah, that'll be fine. I mean, that'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. That's fine. I don't know. That's <laughs> spoiler alert. I should I should start looking at these <laughs> questions. That's okay. Uh, Plus, I don't feel good. So yeah, I know. I'm, we're I'm we're both not. we're both foggy as fuck, and we're trying to lean on Mike to carry the episode. I'm but sorry. I'm, I'm like, sorry about that, Alex. I'm sorry about that, Mister Schneider. No, okay. I got extra high because I was like, I'm gonna. I need to. Me too. Come down to these guys' this I level. Always right. do. I know. Uh, no, we're gonna skip that one. Uh, next one, we're gonna go with Cody Duffy. He wants to know jobs that a sex addict should never work. Porn shop. <laughs> I mean, sex addicts should never work. Yeah, uh, strip club. I would assume corner. <laughs> <laughs> Corner, I think, is probably right on up there. Either that that's or maybe there. that's where exactly where they should mm, work. No. They're like, why don't you don't, take advantage who's, of... Who's the victim? What God gave you. Who's the victim? Uh, well, the sex addict uh, 20 years they're ago. They're dead. They can't feel anything. They're, I mean... They're dead. Yeah, I guess. This is a really the dark... Crime, this dude. is a really dark joke, and the I don't... Victimless crime. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I was, Disney is what yeah, I was... Yeah, that's a good <laughs> one, too. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Elementary school teacher, yeah, just, priest. Yeah, all of the above. Yeah. Uh, so there's a million of them. There he is. Uh, let's wrap this whole thing up with our Taxi favorite. Taxi driver. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. Bartender. I mean, I think there's probably sex addicts in literally every, Everything, every yeah. job you I can know, think of. I know they are, there's sex addicts in the restaurant industry. Yeah. I know that. I know, well, Derek works at the bank. 
So yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, he's a sex addict. <laughs> I know there's sex addicts oh, that was, on the uh, left right. on the sex sideline. Ad, not sex podcast. offender, my right? Ah, different deal. Uh, big different deal. All right, uh, we're gonna wrap I'm this. Not really that different. Uh, yeah, kind of. Sort of I don't know. Uh, sex addicts just haven't been caught yet to become right. sex That's offenders. What I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to wrap this up with our favorite, Taylor Morosky. Taylor Morosky. Hope you're doing good, good dude. Uh, but she wants to know, this cuckoo clock is hilarious. When it rings, instead of a bird, a blank comes out and blanks. A dick comes out <laughs> and comes. A miniature JP comes out with a rubber glove on his head, and it just screams, I'm a squid, I'm a squid. Yeah, dude, that would be hot. Bam! That'd be I was going to say a, a vagina comes out <laughs> and queefs. <laughs> That's your alarm every hour? Yeah. Eric queefs a, a number of times right. depending on what time it is. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're like, hold on, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's my that's, that's I don't know good. how to do it good. I creep. like it. Vagina like it. vagina comes out and says, I only make seventy cents on yeah. the fucking dollar. <laughs> hey, Which man. isn't true, by the way. It's really not. It's not true. It's not true. But ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Thank you for all of you guys who participated in Month Day Fun Day and had very good questions. We sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, keep your uh, your eyes peeled for the next Month Day Fun Day. It comes out every Friday. And uh, yeah, if we find your suggestion to be awesome, we'll put it on the show, give you a shout out like we always do. Thank you guys for doing that. And give you 10,000 opportunities to win money someday. So, <laughs> opportunities, right. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, I fucking won last week. Yeah, you did. Like yeah, with flying yeah. colors. Yeah, what yeah, was up with that? Yeah. What was the one thing that you said that made everybody be like, yeah? I'm telling you, it was fucking retired cell phones with, with naked pictures of their <laughs> girlfriends Maybe. on them. Was all of that written on the... No, it was just retired cell phones. Okay. So, but hey. Uh, yeah, it, you beat our ass. I did. I didn't expect to win, but I didn't expect you to win. I didn't either. And uh, of course, you not nobody based on would. your choices. Right. It's never based on the choices. But, I always just assume I mean, people were like, I like JP the most. I mean, yeah, a, bro a broken. It should be that way. <laughs> a broken clock is right at least twice a day, That's right? That's true. So, everyone so Congratulations, while, I win. man. But what is more fucking staggering and shocking is that JP came in last. Last. Yes. Fucking last. What the fuck? The, the whole comedy thing backfired wow. on me last week i should have been I guess serious you should have yeah it i happens. don't know it, it happens. happens but so that means that mike gets the eiffel tower picks uh i get the championship picks and jp gets the first overall i don't remember pick. the last time i got the first i, pick. I can't either it's been it's wow. been quite a few weeks we'll just put it that way uh, but i'm very excited about this draft uh <laughs> I, Me I, too, kind of. I think I think I have a little bit of an advantage, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I agree. Uh, this week's draft is going to be our favorite non-animated kids or kids movies of all time. Yeah, non-animated non kids movies. Animated kids movies. Got it. Kind of tricky. Kind of tricky. Yeah, but I think we can. Uh, There's a ton. Is it gonna yeah. be like? Are we gonna I'm have? A, I had a hard time narrowing down some of them. Are there arguments about like that's not a kids movie? Is it gonna sure. be like Die Hard with Chris? No, <laughs> that's no. Not, yeah, it no. might be. If you pick a stupid ass movie that's not a kids movie, but then if I'll it argue has it. kids in it. No, That's, that doesn't make it a kids movie just because it has kids in it. So uh, we'll see. Okay, we will see, we'll see. because I have a, a I have a strategy. Oh, and, he's and, got a, all of a sudden yeah. he wants to win twice. I do. I got. I got. He I, got a taste of the victory. I got a taste of, of yeah, winning. Dude. I need to. I need it's to great. back this up. You're okay, done, yeah. you're doing the same thing now that I do with comedy, where it's like okay. I think I got Chasing this figured high, out dude. now. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. going to do it the exact same way again. <laughs> and, okay. All right, let's do this, JP. Holy shit! You get the first <sighs> overall pick. What is your favorite non-animated kids movie? The Wizard of Oz. Ooh, nice. Okay, solid choice right out of the gate. Wow, you're gonna fucking hold down the fort for Kansas there, I guess. Good job. You know, I. Yeah. Just, uh, that's a good pick, dude. I don't think so. Uh, but then Mike, 
Mike, that makes uh, me like it even more. I know, <laughs> right? Mike, what is your favorite uh, non-animated kids movie? The Goonies. That's a good God, one. Dude. I knew I should have taken it That first. is a good one. Oh, I knew I should have taken that first. I can't believe there's like two people. There's Damn. two people in this world. People who love the fucking Goonies oh. and people who hate that movie. It's such a great movie. It's a great flick. Fuck. It really is. That's a good one. Good one, dude. Yep, good one. Uh, really good I am one. going to go with uh, probably my favorite cult classic that I always talk about, and that is The Mighty Ducks. Okay. Yeah. I like it. And... Uh, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this one credit because I think it's way underrated, especially all the like bat behind the scenes shit that happens in this movie. But I'm going to go with rookie of the year. And I think ah. that I think that that's yeah. a little too. Is that a Brendan Fraser? No. no. Oh, what's he in? That's baseball kids. Something. Uh, Oh, Brendan Fraser? Yeah. I don't remember that. I don't he, uh, was, like, Yeah, Angels I know what you're talking about. Or something? Was he in Angels of the Outfield? I don't remember. Maybe. No, no. no, he was not. Daniel Stern was in Rookie of the Year, and he actually yeah. was the director as well. So he is in weird scenes where he always traps himself so he doesn't have to be on screen, screen. when he's directing. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious. He gets stuck in between two hotel doors, and it's the funniest shit in the world. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, and now uh -huh. he kind of looks like Mike, actually. That's which an is all right funny. pick. Nice. Uh, Mike, what it. is your next pick? Uh, Sandlot. God damn you, mother. Wow. You're killing this. Oh, you son of a bitch. Is that a good pick? Yeah, I fucking it's a hate great you. Pick. I actually am very mad at myself because I would have picked that before Rookie of the Year. I just didn't even think of it. Okay, JP, what do you got? You get two in a row. Uh, fucking um, Willy Wonka. Okay, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Willy Wonka or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The first one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because fuck the. I mean, I. The newest one is was, was great. I, yeah, I mean, it was okay. Johnny, I liked it. Johnny Depp, I thought did a good job, but it was but, right. but the no, I yeah. want the, I want the old one. Me too. The old one's way better. I'm with you. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, your next pick, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah, that's a good one. But it's kind of animated. He's CGI. I'm just fucking kidding. I'm fucking kidding, you. <laughs> motherfucker, <laughs> dude. It doesn't matter anymore because I fucking glanced over at fucking Mike's Mike's list list, and, and we're fucked. Mike <laughs> wins. I don't know. We'll see. What's your next pick, Mike? Um, I if you don't make me name a specific you have to. one, yeah, you definitely yeah, you gotta have do to. one. I can't, can't just, just say. No. I know what you know. Because I was going to do that, too. I'm going to just say it and see what happens. Uh, Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. No, pick one. I don't think. I think just saying just it covers. Franchise. Yes. That's like more than one movie. That should be all your picks. I don't even think that's even. But that's cool. Uh, I agree. I, mean, I love it. We're to let it slide. Oh, I it's definitely know. a kid's Is movie. Is it really? Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, For sure. I don't know. It was a pretty. It's based off of kids' books. Uh, well, it was a pretty adult world that I was For in. sure. It had butterbeer. Yeah. I didn't even know I was going to like it. I thought I would hate butterscotch, but it was actually not bad. Uh, okay, fine. We'll, we'll go with uh, Harry Potter. Uh, I am going to go. All right. God dang it. Should I? Yeah. All right. So this is, this is kind of one that's soft in my heart, but uh, I, I'm going to go with uh, Heavyweights. Yeah, I liked it. Is, is that, that okay? a Ben Stiller? Good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. some really funny parts of that. Yeah, okay. that's good. All right. And then I have I have my last two. I know you guys aren't going to pick either of these, so I'm not threatened by at, at all. But I also wanted to put myself into movies to where I wish I could have been a part of it. And I think so far on my list, I've done that. But I am going to go with a movie that I don't even know if any of you guys have ever watched, but it's called Blank Check. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Love Blank Check. Fucking yeah. gets a check yeah, for a million great. dollars and buys yeah. all kinds of shit yeah, in like good. a week. Yeah, that's a that was a fun Fuck movie. Yes, yeah. I loved that movie. So yeah, I will go with Blank Check. Uh, Mike, what is your next pick? Uh, see, this was the one that I was thinking of at the beginning. Okay, Home Alone. Uh, ah, boom! Does that count as a kid fuck movie? Yeah, I think it does because it's on oh. my fucking list. Yeah, you fuck yeah, fucking cockbite. Yeah, that's a good one. God. It, it wouldn't make my top ten, though. Or my yeah, top five. I liked it. I li it's a great movie. I Don't think it's bad. awesome. It's it's definitely yeah. up there. Son of a bitch. That's a good pick, that though. That's a good one. Uh, well, JP, you get your last two in a row. Do you got any oh, picks well, left? No. <laughs> 
So this is kind of an off the wall one, but it's one of my favorite movies. Okay, it's called Little Monsters. Okay, no, yeah, I know that has uh, Savage in it too. Yeah, it? yeah, both of them. Yeah, and Howie Mandel. Yeah, yeah, that yep. that movie Great kind of fucking movie that scared me a little. I was yeah. at that age where yeah. it, I there were scary parts to yeah, that. For okay, sure. yep. And then your last pick. <sighs> Come on, buddy. Home Alone. Uh, uh, which one? You can do two. No, it, which, that one okay. Sucked. Which which Home Alone? You didn't like Home Alone it was too? Okay, it wasn't as good as the first one. Bro, Not even close, bro. I kind of liked Home Alone too better. Yeah, because you're fucking weird. No, he had the talk boy. All dude. right, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this one, even though like it's super old again, and but I'm super old. E. T. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. I that's good. It. That's good. I, I I think that's actually a Please great Please vote thing. for me. <laughs> Fuck Mike. <laughs> Fuck Mike. I'm not worried about Scotty. You got good picks too, but I don't know. I I I, I have Again, I think it's a generational thing. It is. It totally sure. it totally is. Uh all right, Mike, what is your last pick? Man, I'm torn because I I know that there's one that I want to pick that's not going to It's just not going to resonate. Gonna yeah, well. I don't think so. So I'm going to I'm going to go with my alt alternative choice free willy oh you son of a bitch it's such a good pick is it oh no i mean it's okay oh I no oh, it's, i like free good. willy a yeah. lot as a kid yeah Dude, and add, good pick uh, i think you've got a great list scotty oh. you can pick your last one and then i'll tell you yeah, what i, I wanted what to pick. oh i've was. got a, i've got a ton oh, me too ton I, there's so many of of honorable mentions but again i'm putting myself what situation would have i would i wanted to be a part of and that would have been macaulay culkin and richie rich that's a good one too dude right. uh 90s kids movies were fucking good they were just awesome and I feel terrible for the shit you guys have on Disney Channel now. I almost went with yeah. Jumanji. Jumanji is a good, good one. one. You want to know what I was going to pick? Yeah, what? Monster Squad. Yeah, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have known. You don't know? No. Kick him in the nards. Uh -uh. Wolfman don't got nards. nards. Yeah, Just dude. do it. I remember that. Whoa, Wolfman's got nards. nards. Oh, yeah. shit. I remember that. I almost picked this, but I don't consider it necessarily a kid's movie. It's more of a family movie, but I'd have knocked it out of the park. But I just don't think it's technically a kid's movie. But Mrs. Doubtfire. I would consider uh, that a kid's movie. You would? Yeah. I'd I'd probably, I'd probably, I'd probably, I'm happy with my list, but like. Yeah, that's a great one. That's I had, a great one. I had the Little Giants, which was a yeah, big I movie Yeah, Little Giants, me. dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was thinking Kicking and Screaming. Okay. I loved it. I know, but I'm just not I a fan of Will movie. Ferrell, man. I'd, like, I'd love Will Ferrell. Uh, I, had, I had a whole bunch of sports movies. I had I had Little Giants. I had Angels in the Outfield with Danny Glover. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good one. Um, and I think, I can't remember the last one, but. Yeah, the nineties were fucking awesome. Oh shit, no, it was uh, it was actually Camp Nowhere was the other one that. Oh I was yeah, like, that's a good one too with you know, uh, Christopher Lloyd. Is yeah, that Christopher Lloyd? Yeah. yeah. Did you know that fucking uh, Jessica Alba is in that in movie? That movie, yeah. She's in it for like two or three okay. scenes, and that's it. Yeah. But that was her first fucking movie. She was hot too. Um, but anyways, she was fourteen. No, the she was, Brendan she was Fraser the, baseball movie was called The Scout, which okay. is oh, okay. kids or anything. I don't think. Is okay. It? Yeah. I just knew I knew that I had an image of him in a baseball uniform in my head. I gotta admit, if you're looking at the classics, you, you got Mike's list. If you got the fun classics movies, classics would be my list, buddy. Uh, little Wizard, Wizard of Oz, Oz Willy yeah, Wonka, E.T. E. Okay. Those are classics. Okay, you, yeah. Okay, you guys have the classics. I have old '90s people. and 2000s classics, and I yeah. and I have the fun ones, the really yeah, fucking fun man. ones. That yeah. doesn't. Please, God, don't vote for Scotty. <laughs> All right, fine. You don't have to. That was fun. Uh, yeah, that was fun. But nostalgic. Yeah, that's right. I have to say, if I had to pick one list, it'd be mine. <laughs> I'd pick my own. Yeah, I'd pick mine. I'd pick mine, but I want Free Willy. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love that movie. The, I wish if I could uh, dude, take uh, one of mine away. The, the star of Grab it. the Goonies. I More like campaigning. If you yeah. select my <laughs> opponent's list, you're selecting. Kind of sad, though. The guy in Free Willy, the main character, he, I, I think he committed suicide. So oh, yeah. The kid? So yeah. Oh, That's too bad. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that is sad. Yeah. How, how's the whale doing? The whale's uh, still living. He's still kicking. Is that true? He's still, no, he died. Yeah. Uh, during the making of that movie. Uh, but they used like six, <laughs> they had a swap there's like a new six whale. willies. Yeah, yeah, there's like six willies. 
That's right. It's like when your kid's goldfish dies and you don't tell them, you just, just go to the get store, a store and get, get another one. Isn't that a true story of like Old Yeller or maybe not that one, but some famous dog movie where it's like, yeah, there were actually like five of those dogs. Oh, no. Don't tell me that. I yeah, don't, dude. I don't, I don't tell me I that. remember hearing and about that. And I don't that. think it's because one died. I think it was just it made filming easier, easier. Oh, Jesus. to like, all right, get another dog. I think it was Beethoven. It might maybe. have been, yeah. I think it was Beethoven. That maybe. was a fun. Speaking uh, of which, those are great movies too. <laughs> those are great movies. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. I have a same. Kind of fucking so. creepy. You know what? The doctor, the bad guy in Beethoven, what he was doing? He was testing ammunition on shooting dogs in the fucking head. Oh, good. That's wow. what he was okay. doing. He I was don't testing, remember that part of yes, the children's movie. Yes, he was testing movie. bullets. Fucking crazy asshole. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. You can go to facebook.com. That's slash- cheaper by the dozen. Is that a kid's movie? I don't know. Sure, whatever. So you don't know that one? No. Oh, really? No. I didn't think you'd like that movie. Nope. Uh, but you can go and You're vote a piece of shit. at facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or Twitter or X, which is at L-O-T sidelines. Vote for the list of the best fucking 90s and 80s movies <laughs> that aren't animated. Fuck you, man. <laughs> non-animated children's non-animated movies. Non-animated children's movies. I guess those are all the 80s. They are all 80s and oh, 90s. Most that, of them are that's 80s. That's right. So but, but in, in all seriousness. They all are. In all Wizard seriousness. Wizard of Oz is definitely not. Hey, but in all seriousness. I think that came out Every the single. 80s. What? what? 1929. Yeah. Isn't that accurate? No, uh, no, I don't think not even accurate. close. Fine. I'm gonna uh, look it up and we can tell you when we get back from the fucking break. But anyways, if you haven't seen any of these movies, please do us a favor. Go and watch them. They're all great. Yeah. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, everybody, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang. And ladies and gentlemen, Disney. In 1939, Wizard of Oz, just to let you know. Just so you know. I was off by a decade. Uh, But uh, JP was off by 50 years. Something like that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But yeah, it's it's sponsored by Disney because uh, JP was so nice to take care of my animals over this last week. Uh, and I didn't do anything to your house. And he didn't do anything necessarily crazy to my house. And so we got him. Necessarily yeah. He only crazy. came in secret places. Oh, you got him something? Yes, of course I got uh-huh. him something. I actually got him two things. I got him a couple shirts that he... <laughs> it's probably too small, but I don't care. I Sorry, hope they're not gonna, medium. He's going to muscle no, them up. Okay. Is that large work? Is good, yeah. You can at least sleep in them. No, yeah, large yeah. is perfect. So I got what? The, <laughs> Sleep in a shirt that's too small. I don't bigger than a large I, dick. I don't know. But I got this one for you. I, I was going to get a pride one, but I'm I like... I like that. But, you that's, know, that's does it not as gay as I get. Yeah. 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 Oh. It's, it's just got the... It's got Mickey that's Mouse. And all I like that. Yeah, that's yeah. super gay. I, I was... Let people know I'll suck their dick. Exactly. But I mean, they did have... It's kind of shirt I'm looking for. I yeah. love it. Yeah, but they, they did have pride shirts, but you know I don't support that shit, so I'm not going to buy you any of those. Right. Yeah, I mean, I Me wouldn't either. either. Ridiculous. But I did get you one Ridiculous. more shirt. Ridiculous. I did yeah. get you one more shirt. Okay. And uh, oh, I, I figured. Now that one. That one. Bougie. Is bougie. I love it. Yeah, See, I like I figured that. he'd like this one. Yeah, so, dude. And so that I got definitely JP. says I'll suck your dick. <laughs> yes. 100%. Yes. So there you go, oh, JP. Oh, man, that's nice. We got you. JP. I didn't get You're you shit, man. Mike. I didn't expect anything. Yeah. I, I actually I felt either. I felt very That's touched awesome. that you got JP of something. Course. So I feel I? like I got a gift of my own. There you go. <laughs> That was nice. I I did a little aw. He got a present for a guy. Magic magic of Disney. I don't feel bad that you won the draft last week. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Uh, But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation. (laughs) Uh, I fucking really do like this one. Uh, And this actually comes in from a listener. Uh, So way to go there, Nolan. Uh, But his name is Nolan. Yep. K. Nolan K. Cadramus. Cadramus. Yeah, sure. Uh, but he wants to know, would you rather hit every red light for the rest of your life or have slow internet for the rest of your life? Wow. This ain't even fucking close. No. I agree. It's a <laughs> shitty situation, but it's a really easy pick. Motherfuckers, I lived through the 90s where we had dial-up. Yeah. I, and I waited on LimeWire to download porn for a day. Yeah. Kiss my fucking Never ass. Never doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will hit every red light. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, Could God. Could you imagine going back? Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. way. If anything, I think that the shitty internet would be good for me. You That's, can't stream anymore, by the way. I got cable. 
Well, you have to because uh, you sure. won't be able to stream. That's fine. I can fuck s- that. I can stream if I plan no ahead. More YouTube, no more fucking. That's okay. Yeah, that's what I waste all of my time exactly. doing. Exactly. Right. So it would be a good thing. Now you're just gonna be fucking this podcast. Poof, gone. Right. I don't drive enough to worry about hitting every red light. I'm not that worried about I, it. I, I I know myself. Whenever that I, would suck for you traveling all the time. I guess. Uh, yeah, but most of it's highway, probably. That's true. They start I, putting fucking street lights on highways. Now that would, yeah, right. <laughs> I, was, I would just that drive would be, north everywhere, right? Yeah. Because I wouldn't have to no worry stop about north, it. baby. No, right. no stop, stop north, north. Baby. That's fucking hilarious. You know, I was thinking we need to not only get rid of the stop signs. There's no reason for a four way fucking stop light. No. Yeah. Really. No. Yeah. Everybody going north just goes. Yeah. Just Keep go, going. man. Never Do whatever you're north. doing. Get rid of that roundabout shit. Stop. Yeah, I agree. People fuck that shit up. So you're going. You are going slow internet. I'm going slow internet. I know. Yeah. I've experienced it before, and right. I I've, and, and I, it sucks. And I've also experienced myself feeling like I've hit every fucking red light on the way to some place. The worst. I lose my fucking shit. Dude, the worst is buying a new video game and trying to download it and fucking it taking like a day. Uh, what are you talking about? Download like, it yeah. over the fucking internet? Right. Uh, you can go and buy the goddamn disc and not have to do that yeah, shit. Yeah, but then you got to open it and yeah, put it and in and you got to go and somewhere. And I know I'm old-fashioned, but still. Yeah, and you're high and you don't feel like it. And you're going to hit every red light on the way there. <laughs> Okay. No, yeah, I'll take slow internet because that, that would really? be good for my life. Okay. Probably me too. Wow. Yeah. It's like when you lose your phone. I don't want to. And they're to, like, we'll send you another one. I thought it was an easy pick the week. other way. No, I don't have. I don't want to unalive everybody. That would not be good. That just would not be fun. You would just r- start running red lights. <laughs> exactly. I'd be killing. So is me. this only when you're driving, or what if you're the passenger? Oh no, passenger included. That includes. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Kiss my ass. God, that slow internet me of that. would suck so bad. You know that, what? That reminds me of the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to a Galaxy sequel. One of them where they are talking about the guy who's he's a truck driver, and it's just always fucking raining. Oh. And everywhere he goes, it rains. And he says like, "Oh, it's always raining." And people are like, "It's obviously not." All always raining like maybe it's raining a lot and then the narrator is like uh what tom didn't know was that he was a rain god oh, and god. the clouds <laughs> wanted only to please him but all he knew was that his days were wet and dreary this is actually a really good question and it could go even deeper if you think about it but it's like how much do you value your time for the thing that you're doing for me i want to get to my destination as fast yeah. as possible and then i could take my fucking time just chilling so See, uh, that's where I think yeah. I'm at. I, I think I would need a really nice car. Like if I had to drive my car and hit every red light, I guess I'm going slow internet. Dude, you've got a fucking sweet car. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's fucking four different tires. <laughs> Crack fucking windshield, <laughs> fucking broken side mirror. It's the sp- I'm living the dream. It's the sports car bed from Grandma's boy. <laughs> I mean, did you hear it when I pulled up today? Fuck yeah, yeah. everybody uh, else did shit. too. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. it sounds like badass. That's right. Yeah, it's fucking, yeah. I, it's I, yeah. sweet car. I kind of like sitting ride. in the car anyway and yeah. like listening yeah. to audiobooks so, and stuff. Right? So I mean, the go. car doesn't ever. And I already me. like. I assume every trip I'm going to take, I'm going to have to spend an hour and a half changing a tire i put that in my head before every long trip i would go ape shit if I like i drive at night like real late at night like if i'm yeah, having yeah. anxiety or i just need to get away from all the fucking technology oh yeah sure or, sure sure i'll just go at three or four in the morning and just fucking just drive no sure. it relaxes me and smoke pot and time. smoke weed yeah correct yeah i know it's cool i get it but i do that no matter what anyway, i'm doing absolutely well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much. Guys, thank you very much to Mike Baldwin. Hey, thanks. Check me out on The Thing and come see me at The, the, the Stuff. Thing. That's yep. right. And, of course, JP. <laughs> Fucking best song, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's so crazy. Uh, but guys, as we always like to say, well, first, I, I, thank you guys so much for, for uh, doing what you do, especially participating in the whole vacation post. That was so fucking awesome. That was all really of you, awesome. all of you fucking, that's fucking great. I appreciate it. Um, we made it work. So now we're hopefully back to kind of a normal schedule. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. And uh, yeah, so guys, keep doing what you're doing. If you haven't already, please do us a favor, like and subscribe to this podcast. We sincerely do appreciate all of you new listeners and followers. We, we sincerely do. Uh, and like we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us, we hope you cry every time you masturbate. <laughs> 
If you don't like us, tell your enemies. Until next time, guys. Pepsi. Fuck you, Disney. <laughs> Until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care.